Hi, I'm Kevin Brinninger with the Indiana Chamber. Why is township government still here? That's a question Hoosier should be asking their legislators this session. Townships are a Civil War relic that has far outlived its usefulness, and we can't afford the inefficiency any longer. Local revenues today are more strained than ever, with less money available to provide essential services. Once a county reaches its property tax caps, no more money can be raised. The funds on hand must run local government within that county. That means waste in one area of local government equals a loss of essential services in another. For example, high administrative costs for township poor relief can be the direct reason your local library has closed down or your police force has seen a reduction. In fact, over half of Indiana's townships serves less than two households per month with poor relief, and those that do distribute relief often do so inefficiently. Indiana townships average spending almost one dollar for every dollar of assistance it delivers. Townships can be this frivolous because they overtax homeowners and businesses and stockpile funds that could be used for other community priorities like public safety, schools, libraries, and parks. Townships spend around $400 million annually. Their reserves continue to grow, now totally nearing nearly $300 million in taxpayer money. Does anyone doubt that this system is broken? It is so obvious that a campaign has started among 15 newspapers throughout the state to highlight to their readers why townships need to go. Everything townships can do can easily be transitioned to county government and with better results. Emergency poor relief can be delivered with greater fairness and efficiency. Fire protection reaches a higher level with improved coordination of fire departments within a county. No more excuses. It's time for all of us to demand a better use of taxpayer dollars. It's time to eliminate township government. You can learn more at mysmartgov.org.